Remarkable Living Homes Key Residences Block 2 Unit 1 or Block 22 Unit 55 uh, continue watching this video if you like to uh, make this particular home uh, especially key residences or these two units a remarkable living space for yourself so hi my name is Minan I use the concepts of uh, feng shui to help myself pick and choose units that I, I feel that I would like to make it remarkable so in this video um, I'm going to introduce this new concept called the designer brief or the functional area design um, but the more logical part of me feels that uh, functional area design will be better uh, so of course in this video uh, there will be two parts very functional one uh, why do I like uh, this development key residences okay so the first part will be using uh, feng shui on a bigger scale looking at the landforms and how uh, the homeowners can tap into these energies. The second one is uh, how did I even arrive at unit 01 or unit 55? That will be key because uh, that is really where uh, the functional area design uh, would be stressed upon uh, because uh, I just wanted to share with uh, you who's currently viewing this video that uh, Feng Shui is more about the use, conscious usage of areas inside our own home. So uh, in the video description, they can follow the timestamp to view the parts that you would like to know more about. And of course, you're always welcome uh, to reach out to me if you feel that you want to further personalize uh, your living spaces within key residences. So let's head straight to those segments. Okay, so right now I'm at Sunset Vale. Uh, I'm definitely walking up a hill. So I'm walking up this hill so that at least I know I can find out where is the locations of higher grounds and lower grounds. So this definitely Sunset Vale, uh, this stretch of road is going up. And uh, I think that's coming from the south, right? This coming from the south. So this stretch of Sunset View uh, is the road at the south, the higher ground. So from this location right now, if you have watched the previous, uh, the earlier sections, uh, whatever I'm walking, right, uh, it's all higher grounds, right? And it happened that for the unit that I'm choosing, I think there's a one particular unit in specific uh, this area that I'm walking up and down right now is definitely the south so uh, for period 9 we would like to see the presence of higher grounds because uh, chief always flows from higher ground to lower ground um, so much the use of all uh, all this finding a right home I guess it's more of uh, being able to tap into the external energies from the external environment to help ourselves be whether emotionally, uh, psychologically, right, achieve our goals and ambitions. So that's why I feel um, when buying a home, now after I learn Feng Shui, I'm a bit more stringent with the quality of the homes that I want to buy because value, price is what we pay, value is what we get. Um, if you have the funds or perhaps even the capital to buy a, the right home uh, to set ourselves up for the next 20 years when it comes to period 9 why not let's do that um, I'll be walking down the other way to see or just to experience the whole contours of the land but with this I should be able to see that uh, at this spot right now sunset heights right sunset heights is definitely the highest point so now I'm just walking down and I'll head back home to let you see the unit that I will pick of key residences. Uh, I'm not here to promote key residences, but it's just that I wanted to do something uh, like a leisure walk for myself. So continue watching. This segment will be all about the floor plans. And I'm going to go through four points in specific. Uh, first, why did I choose block two or block 22? 
the second point is uh, what I like about the units in general or perhaps I'll call it the floor plan design uh, third is also about the usage areas and the last one is a call to action for yourself uh, if you like to personalize uh, your unit uh, for yourself and your family so let's head straight to why I chose block 2 or block 22 uh, if you have watched the first part of the video uh, I was walking walking the grounds because I was uh, searching for the existence of higher grounds key residences uh, on a general level it does have higher grounds in the south okay uh, and as of the point of recording we are at uh, 2022 uh, of course technical terms uh, period 9 is coming so since period 9 uh, also means the south right so we would like to have the chi or the key originating from the south the next point is uh, we also like to have the presence of waters at the right areas using using these two concepts right uh, that's how i arrive at block 2 or block 22 but nonetheless you still can buy any other units uh, in block 2 or block 22 next part uh, what i like about the units i'm, I'm kind of practical because uh, i just want to make sure that i have as much usage area as possible uh, so one of the things I, I liked about the uh, the key residences uh, is simply uh, this area that I'm going to draw in, uh, in green okay. so this is the living hall uh, developments that I've seen sometimes requires you to turn left or turn right before you can even go into the main hall but for key residences uh, it is a rectangular uh, area and in feng shui, we always like to have that si si fang fang, a complete square or rectangle so when i saw this uh, key residences then i was like whoa this is one plus point it's very unique it's a there's a rectangular a uh, rectangle bright hall okay bright hall is a technical term that what the area that's after the door okay the area that's after the door here right it's a rectangular area so that the chi can stay and meander down there apart from that uh, it's also the more of the the coincidence of usage areas and the stars uh, as you can see right now there is a four plan on the left and some numbers on the right so each number i will call it i'll term it as the star okay so that you understand that uh what i meant Okay, so it's the we like to configure the usage of areas according to the stars. So we can see that if we are going to use the uh, living hall, okay, here, the bedroom, the next bedroom, and the master bedroom, where would the stars be? So it's definitely down here. Of course, uh, why is it in this orientation? Uh, the, uh, I'll cut down the technicals unless you really want to know the technicals. You can for, uh, you can reach out to me in the video description. Okay, so these are the areas. Them's boxing in green. Okay, these areas having these stars matches my criteria, right? Why? Because uh, based on work, uh, I always feel that. Uh, the intent or perhaps in our work there will always be there will always be two things in all uh, that we need to uh, gain progress one either we educate ourselves to become even better or more proficient or two will require assistance from other people so what are the stars that will that I will use is definitely the star four on the right side, right? So there's a left and a right, right? Uh, right, and also the star one on the right. So if you can see that this would, which boxes on the right figure would I use? So it's definitely this, this box here, and this box here 
where do this box that I'm circling right now in blue appear at? So it's appearing over bedroom 2 here and bedroom 3 here. Uh, of course, uh, when the units are being constructed, right? Uh, where are you going to put the bedroom down there? I guess it's more about uh, how you want to configure your your living spaces, uh, which is more important so that you can tap on the energies from the external environment uh, to support your ambitions, progress, growth, family goals, relationship goals. So that's key residences for you. Uh, may the information help you pick a unit in key residences to fit your needs. And of course, if you have a friend who is looking to get a unit in key residences, forward this video link to them. Lastly, uh, if you are looking at some other developments uh, that are not found in that playlist, I think it should be the left, okay, the left side. Drop them in the comments below. Uh, I'll invest some time uh, to help you review. That's what I wanted to say. See you.